Happy New Year. Welcome to Music Tribe Studios LA. I'm Julie. Today with me in studio is Mr. Carlos Calvo. Julie, how are you? Thank you for Happy joining New us Year. today. Happy New Year. So, singer, songwriter, yes. guitar player, guitar yes. instructor, guitar coach to yes. Hollywood stars. What else can I say about this gentleman? I am yes. so proud. It's an honor to have you here today. Um, Thanks, and man. least of all, he was guitar instructor to Mr. Adam Levine. Okay, now we're named You dropped something. Oh, yeah, I know. You dropped a name. <laughs> a name. <laughs> so, um, we've invited Carlos here today because we're starting out our new Bouguera series. It's uh, playing out of the box. So, yeah. and what that means is I, I feel like it's exactly where I'm at as a player, where I can kind of play my way through a pentatonic scale, a minor scale, and then maybe go to another position. But then when I show up at a party and they're like, here, sit in and jam. Yeah. Beyond that box, I'm stuck. Yeah, what do we do? Where do I go? Where do I sound awesome? Yeah. Let's add awesomeness. Okay, thank our, you. To what we already know. Okay. You know, because that's kind of my thing. I think you can take what you already know and keep expanding on it. I think uh, maybe one misconception is you always have to learn a new scale pattern or a new position or, you know, a new arpeggio or something, which is, of course, great to do. But wouldn't it be nice to exhaust the possibilities of yeah. the scales we're already comfortable with? For sure. And so I thought maybe we should start with the classic pentatonic, okay. the, the godmother of all scales, um, in A minor, right? Uh, I call this pattern one because the root is on the uh, sixth string, the low E string. Right. So as we go up this scale, guitar heroes play the heck out of that sure. scale and do it really well. And they all do it in the, the way that they do it. And so we're going to do it in the way that we do it. Awesome. But um, the scale is really useful in that the first finger always ends up on the same fret, right? And in this case, the fifth position. So it's really easy. You, don't, you almost don't have to look to do some kind of cool sounding riffs. Right. But it can kind of box you in. We're talking about getting yeah. outside the um, it has a very uh, kind of linear sound to yep. it, so it's kind of uh, it's kind of has this this uh, horizontalness to it. So yeah. we want to take it a little more vertically. We want to okay. we want to see if we can get some movement on it. So I, I with this particular scale pattern, we're going to add what I call extensions. To okay. It. You know, different extensions and something right. like that. But uh, so let's take take that scale instead of starting at the normal root placement, mm -hmm. which is the A for A minor. We're gonna back up one whole fret, and we're gonna. two strings. Transition up. And then the same thing on the next two strings, only with the B string tuning, mm -hmm. we're going to look at only one fret away okay. rather than two. And transition right there. Perfect. Let's do that again from the bottom. So one, three, one, three, transition. limited to between the fifth and eighth fret. Mm -hmm. Now we start at the third fret and okay. end at the twelfth. We're Got it. we're expanding that. So it's two so it's two strings slide. Right second string slide. Exactly right. Sometimes this section of the pentatonic where you transition from the third string is referred to as the Albert box. Okay. Uh, Albert King was a master of that section and he played some really, really cool wow. riffs uh, okay. famously with that. But, you know, we could use it for, for any of our purposes. You want to try something like that in a context of maybe some chords and just see what it sounds like. I gotta play my way back up there, so. You wanna try it in reverse? You 
do. It's a little bit of a brain bender at yeah. first because you're not used to moving in this like horizontal right. way uh, with a pentatonic scale. Right. Pentatonic scale is usually straight up and down. So it's kind of exciting. It's kind of fun. Um, I have this theory that if you want to double the amount of riffs you, you do, uh -huh. you just learn them in another octave. <laughs> sound yeah. a little different they have a little different energy or, sure. or a little different usefulness um but it's the exact same riff and this little extension helps you do the same kind of thing in a couple different uh octaves right and it is the antidote for me uh against the, not against but rather than an it's an alternative to the cage system where people yeah, because I was wondering about that. Like, is that something I need to learn in order to master pentatonics across? Right, I mean, that's kind form? of conventional wisdom that there, you learn these five pentatonic patterns, the C shape, the A shape, the G shape, right, caged. Right. Um, and I don't think so. I think you could really start with, you know, our famous, well-worn pentatonic, what I call pattern one, root right. on the E string. Okay. And then you can kind of expand that into what I call pattern two, which is the same scale, but instead of root on the low E, this would be root on the A, fifth right. row. So, so then when you make your way up the... And so you can kind of ride back and forth between just only two patterns rather than five. Right. right. Oh, that's fantastic. Isn't learning two things cooler than learning five things? Especially for us guitar players, let's face it. Here we go. Let's uh, let's put Julie on the spot here. Oh boy, I'm the guinea pig. The guinea pig. The jam. chance to move you know, up I, the neck and back? I'm, I'm still, it, it is funny because I know you mentioned the B string because of the fact that it's not a fourth. It does kind of throw you off because when you're doing it, because once you get your fingers going in, yeah. just doing these, you know, full steps and suddenly it's not, it does suddenly, throw you yeah. off and you have to think about it. And have I think to that's think. where I'm getting stuck. It takes a couple with. of moments, but that was, yeah. your transition was pretty mm -hmm. darn clean. But yeah, you're talking about that after the yeah, third yeah. string. that takes a little getting used to and figuring it out. But once you do, I mean, I thought you did that with quite quite a lot of ease and it sounded really good. You did another really cool thing too, because again, more bang for the buck. Mm -hmm. um, the, the transition note is also, is also the bend note. You can do the transition up or, or do the traditional bend. You can do the transition up or here you did a really, Bend riff. So it's really versatile. You can go either way. With it was it. actually a moment I needed to think to figure out where I was going. <laughs> nice. It sounded that sounded fantastic. And and I would um, recommend just kind of doing it a couple times when you learn it. And it's a little tougher going backwards, right? Yeah. The the um, pentatonic scale is so versatile. It's both a major scale and a minor scale. Right. Right, so um, uh, the, in this case, the A minor pentatonic is also the C uh, major pentatonic. So why don't we do another little jam like you were doing, but this time I'll play it more in C major. <laughs> Thank you. 
has that right. prettiness of, of the uh, pentatonic scale, but you're able to get more movement on it. Right. So the ultimate goal, I think, is to have this pentatonic scale that we all love and use and get it to connect to the other pentatonic scale so now we've really covered the whole neck because after that comes the same pattern once again relative higher. So we're really we're just connecting pattern one, pattern two, pattern one, and so on. Excellent. Two, two pentatonic scales rather wow. than five. Sure. With these little extensions. Now would you mind playing us out at the end of our very first episode and show us how you break out of this box? Out of the box. Cool. <laughs> Music Tribe Studios LA. I'm Julie. This is Mr. Carlos Calvo. Come back for the next episode of Breaking Out of the Box. Yes, please. Cheers. Good luck.